my mom was diagnosed with uh, colon cancer in one of the leading hospitals in Kenya. Uh, according to the lab results, it showed like uh, she had uh, stage two of uh, colon cancer. And we needed a partner or someone who can give us more information because out there there's no information that tells you this is the best hospital for this kind of uh, disease and uh, this is the specialist who's going to be handling your case. So we needed someone who can give us that information so that then we can make an informed decision. So we found so many people online but uh, it was these uh, doctors beyond borders that strike uh, strikers because of their responsiveness. The, the approach was very professional that gave us uh, some comfort that we are dealing with the right people. So they sent out the lab results to three big hospitals and they requested us um, like uh, what is it exactly that we wanted to get out of the treatment and what is it that we are looking for as a family. Our priority as a family was one, the best uh, medical care and two, uh, the most cost-effective uh, care that we can give to my mom. And all of them said that my mom had stage one of colon cancer. Please note from the Kenyan hospital, the diagnosis was my mom had a stage two of colon cancer. So when we got three different hospitals uh, saying that uh, from the lab results, this is a stage one of colon cancer, we got a, a lot of hope because then that means that my mom has an opportunity to go for further treatment. The, the initial treatment was PET scan that all the doctors from the three hospitals were recommending. Please note that in Africa, the only uh, two countries that have the PET scan machine. Uh, in Kenya, we do not have. And uh, if you look at those, uh, those uh, two uh, countries that have the PET machine, uh, in terms of cost, cost comparison, um, India and Asia in general beats them all. And also the, in terms of experience. So you might have the PET scan in a certain country, but then the doctors in those uh, markets are not as experienced like doctors in India, for example. So based on that, we had a family meeting and decided that we needed to uh, travel to India. We got letters of invitation. We went to the embassy. The embassy was very helpful. My mom was supposed to start chemotherapy in Kenya on the 5th of January. So we were trying to beat the deadline so that mom can start treatment in India by the 5th of uh, January as recommended by the Kenyan hospital. Uh, so what we did was uh, to accelerate the process and with the help of Doctors Beyond Borders, we were able to meet the deadline. They arrived in India on 2nd of uh, January and uh, on Monday, which was on 5th, they went for the initial test so that the doctors can know what they are treating and one, verify that it's true that mom had stage one of cancer. The PET scan was able to establish that she actually had stage one of cancer. And uh, what was amazing and the best news that uh, we got as a family is the fact that mom was cancer free. The doctor who was working on my mom has dealt with over 4,000 similar cases. To me, that's a seller. Once you tell me that, and you've done that statistics, because out there no one has these kind of statistics. What Doctors Beyond Borders have done is to go out there, look for statistics, both for the physical hospital and two, for the specialists who are going to handle the patient. So by the time you're making that decision as the person taking your uh, loved ones out there, you have a lot of information that helps you make the right decision.